Hi, welcome to the Fanime Podcast. I'm Evan and... I'm Tanchi Hanka. I'm Arenia. I'm Kiara. And I'm Kisaka. Cool. I don't know why I said and after my name. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um... So, past two weeks have been pretty interesting. Not a whole lot of episodes, but we got, what, about... I don't know how to do math. Seven, eight. Eight. I, I can kind of do math. <laughs> So what was your guys' uh, favorite thing from the past two weeks? Magical Girl School. <laughs> <laughs> Magical yes. Girl School, episode four. Yes, yeah, so good. There's, there are a lot to choose from this time. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, even I actually know. <laughs> Project Unknown had a pretty big uh, plot oh, point come man. up. I but haven't I watched like that, that one yet. I need to watch what? the new it's one. So good. Yeah, it's a pretty big thing that happens in that. Well, that they reveal in that. So okay. that's definitely one to watch. I will. Yeah, I need to catch up on that. And then I also enjoyed Squall of Magnel. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched I like that, that yet either. <laughs> yeah, that just came out like a day. Well, I guess a few days ago uh, by the time this releases. But... <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, it was very interesting. So far, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit confusing at times, but I think in the end, I I understood it. Yeah. I got it from the description. Not the <laughs> yeah, there were some things that weren't totally clear at first, but they were kind of explained after the fact, so yeah. I think it, it was okay. It ended up being okay. But yeah, that was a very interesting series. Very smooth, Len looking series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lenren Twist Twin. Bah, I can't speak. Lenren Twin stuff always looks good, though. Yeah, it's always yeah. very solid looking. This is a very, um, the style holds up. And mm -hmm. also on the topic of looking good, I'm a Magical Girl actually looked pretty good as well. Yeah, Mien yeah. came back. Came back, I don't know how long she's been gone. It hasn't been very long according to her channel. But, um, she did Shantae of the Mew. Which... That was like three years ago, wasn't it? Like 2011? <laughs> yeah, and I think she deleted it. Oh. Because yeah, there's no trace of it people anywhere. Were heavily criticizing it, and so she took it down. Mm. And then her last video after all of that was like a year ago or something like that on YouTube. <laughs> and then she just suddenly came back with I'm a Magical Girl, episode one, part one, which is kind of a parody type thing. It mm. reminded me a bit of um, Eternal mm -hmm. when I saw that. Uh,. The rabbit-looking thing reminded me of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of every Magical Girl series ever, so... Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why! I got some Illusions Dreams vibes from that. I don't know why, but maybe yeah. it was kind of the whole, like, making a joke, but at the same time, it's not obvious, really. Like... That it's supposed to be a joke? I don't know. I, I just remember... I said, like, it... outright in the description, though, that it wasn't a serious thing. <laughs> yeah. But That's what it reminds me of Illusion Streams. I think she did that, too. It was oh. like, oh, this is not serious. But, yeah, it kind of followed all the, uh, all the stereotypes of Magical Girl. So, not really anything new. Very, um... Yeah. It did look good. Mm -hmm. I, liked, I liked a lot of the keyframes. Like, the keyframes were really, really good. Uh, the style and color choice is pretty cute, too. Yeah, I just kind of yeah. hope that if she does keep it up, she, like, um, branches out a little bit more with it and tries to do newer things, I guess. I mean, the parody is fine. You can keep it a parody, but don't just make it, like, every other parody, you know? I would like to right. see it go in a slightly different direction. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, Cosmic Mew Mew Episode 1 Part 2 also came out. Oh, yeah, I watched that. That yeah, one went it. from kind of parody to... Well, I didn't know. It's not really a parody, I don't think. It kind of makes fun of itself, and but it's supposed to be more yeah. for comedy. It's not really like making fun of anything else. It did a lot of Tokyo Moe Mew, I think, in part two, though. <laughs> yes, yeah. definitely. The Pokemon battle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and some of the voices was, and things like that. It was full of it, like just jokes and like stuff like that. So I guess that, along the same lines, I would like to see it do a little bit more that hasn't been done before, rather than just kind of reusing the same things that other people have already done several times over. Yeah. Like, the fact that it, I always get reminded of another show when, 
when watching Cosmic Mew Mew, like I always get reminded of like uh, Tokyo New Mew and like Diamond Mew Mew a couple of times. Like it needs yeah. to kind of get out of that bubble because otherwise we're just only going to think of it in terms of other existing fanime. Yeah. Right, right. Like there's a thing where it already reminds you of an anime, but if it reminds you of a fanime, that's even more broad. Or <laughs> not <laughs> less broad. Yeah, that's not <laughs> yeah. necessarily a good thing. So did anyone watch um, Ninja Butler Academy? I did not. I, I have get, seen I, it. I'm very sorry. I, I didn't even... Sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. It's fine. But um, any <laughs> thoughts on that? I guess Tenchi, you're the only one that watched it. <laughs> uh, well, as you said, it uh, has Ninja Butlers. Uh, I found it interesting how they have a perverted character in there. You don't see that very often in Fanime. Yeah, oddly enough. <laughs> Even though that's very popular in anime. Very common in anime, yeah. Fan yeah. A- fanime is pretty much fan anime. <laughs> it just there, doesn't all, happen. Yeah, which is just funny because they're all like in that age group. You'd think that they would. Yeah, but uh, anime a lot of the time it kind of tries to appeal to that through like fan service and all that stuff. But I guess with fanime they don't really they don't really worry about that as much. They're, they're not <laughs> even trying yeah. to do any of that <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If they wanted to get popular, we'll just post your stuff on Tumblr or something. Especially in uh, some cases, though, where like they'll show it to people, like their parents and stuff like that. It's like you right, don't right. want to have a bunch of really perverted things in <laughs> oh, your homemade anime when you're a twelve-year-old oh, my... showing it to your mom. <laughs> I think your mom is starring think... in it. Uh, sorry, I think a lot of people would be grown at then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not really an option, even if you wanted to put it in, but. <laughs> That's that is kind of strange though how there isn't very much fan service at all in fanime. I think because it's mostly made by females, just like that could be I, a part of it. Yeah. I guess I don't know. I don't know. The only the only fan service I remember seeing is either Troll or Kawaii Schoolgirl. Evan, was there a fan service? In- There's in- more in Kawaii. Oh, yeah, yeah Kawaii though. She Kawaii gets undressed, but it's like. That is important. That will you'll know why that's important later on. It's what? like okay. that, trust me, it, it's not there for no reason. It's there for a reason. Alright, then I'm going to trust you. But yeah, Kyokians is the thing that um comes to mind when you say fan when you talk about fan service in uh fan anime. Mm, yeah. That's really the one that does it a lot. Kyokians and I guess a little bit of nonsense world. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh right, nonsense world. Yeah. Nonsense World wasn't too obvious about it, but it was yeah. kind of there, just hovering. You, know, you could tell. Yeah, it was kind of like... Nonsense World also had the perverted character, too, though. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Nonsense and then World. there's possibly Tokyo Fetish Mew. <laughs> is, is there oh. fan service in that, though? Yeah, there is. There is there's like the foot. a really <laughs> easy panty shot right there in your face. Oh, spiritual yeah. foot scene. <laughs> it almost doesn't count though when it's done in like a series that's not totally serious, because then it's just like a joke. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Then again, you can take a lot of anime seriously and still fan service. Oh yeah, some of those are jokes too, though. True. <laughs> True. Like, uh, oh well, we are not talking about animes. <laughs> <laughs> like, needless, that's a joke. <laughs> but yeah, this is not anime podcast <laughs> yeah i would not know anything that you guys talked about in an anime podcast <laughs> probably talk about a, a comic a kill or whatever yeah we totally lost <laughs> oh yeah there's uh one more thing that released an episode within the last two weeks that we did not talk about which is kind of in that gray area of probably isn't a fan of me but i call it one anyway and i don't think anyone else even watches it but uh power of teenage girls Oh yeah, I've seen an episode of that. I haven't seen that. It's a Winx Club thing. Mm. It's a fan Winx Club series. Uh, I think that was a uh, a week ago or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was in uh that was the last week, not the yeah. most recent one. But um, I remember seeing it because there wasn't so much that week. Uh, yeah, it was just that Ninja Butler Academy. But I know it's made an anime studio, and it uh yeah it holds up pretty well. Yeah, it's it didn't look uh. It don't look as uh, choppy as uh, I guess anime studio would make you think that it would. The style also helps it though. Like, yeah, it's a yeah. very bone animation 
kind of style. So it, I don't yep. know, it just works. But yeah. What That's, about? Sorry. What about? What about Flower Power? I didn't watch it when it originally came out. Uh, Flower watched... Power has had very mixed opinions so far from the people I've talked to about it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of those things where people aren't really sure what the intention of the show is because it has a very um it kind of gives off the wrong impression or maybe it gives off the right impression see we don't know what the intention behind (laughs) it is Mm -hmm. like to me it seemed like it on one hand it does seem like the creator is making a joke with the temper of the character but to me it came off like mean-spirited almost like it almost seemed like this was almost like a vent series or something like that like when people make vent comics and make representations of someone that they really hate and then, like, whatever, make them the bad guys. I don't know. I just got that kind of impression, and I felt very strange about it. See, but, I, um, yeah. I got the impression that it was just really, really, like, it was just a big, like, troll of anime. And it was just, like... That's kind of how I felt going into it. Especially, like, the intro. You watch the intro, and it looks good for a few seconds, and you start to see a lot of bases and stuff pop up. And then it goes to the episode, and it's just, like, the art style significantly... <laughs> Decree the the um the art quality kind of goes down a bit. Yeah. At that point, it's just kind of like, uh, okay, this might not be that serious. But I'm honestly, I'm not sure. I think it's kind of like more in the realms of parody, but at the same time, I don't really know. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't give myself enough time to watch that. The entire <laughs> first episode is like, they get assigned powers. And they God. all say, yeah, I got this power, you got that power, woohoo, we're flower powers now. And then <laughs> this guy shows up, and he looks in the box, and he's like, um, I'm just trying to see if there are any more powers left. And then the leader of the group just, like, starts yelling at him and insulting him very, very heavily, like, yeah, really, Jesus really Christ. excessive, For, like, like, a insults. good four minutes. Like, she's and like, you she should have been aborted. Him. I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. she goes stabs. really far, and then she starts stabbing him. With her scissor sword. Her so, yeah. She keeps screaming about, like, well, red's above this, and orange, you just. They're just orange, and I don't even remember what her color is, but apparently her <laughs> yeah, color yeah. is the top color. Right. It that just... doesn't. That, that sounds more like. More than vent status. It sounds like a, more of a joke to me. Because <laughs> like, I want to imagine someone could be that angry. The stra- to it's like when you watch it, though, it almost doesn't feel like a joke. It's really. Uh, yeah, it it's doesn't just, feel like just, a joke. It feels yeah. like someone releasing like pent up anger toward a person in like their own private like. I don't know. Just I've never se- like that. That those in. Bleh, I'm sorry. I can't speak tonight. Those insults just went so far that like it made me really uncomfortable. It wasn't even yeah. funny. It was like, <laughs> oh, I'm feeling really weird about watching this. I'm just like, why was this necessary? What this is? Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and she carried it on for like a solid two or three minutes. So it was mm-hmm. just, it was really <laughs> excessive. So it definitely leaves questionable. <laughs> Impact on the well, guess, um, audience. Guess we're trying to mess with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll especially if your name is Chris Harry. But, <laughs> yeah, poor Chris, Chris Harry. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, on that lovely note, um, regarding updates, not you know releases, but just you know updates. What what um things do you guys like, or what are you looking forward to, stuff like that? Any comments? Little Orca opening. Yeah, little Orca. Uploaded Eru, please. Yeah, yeah, Just the opening. She said, it. She, no. she said it's finished, but we haven't. It's not up yet. So. Give me my stuff. I need my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you might have been able to guess, but I'm excited for Demon Hunter coming back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. Back? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah she That's... said she was going to make something new. A while ago, and then she kind of went back and is just like, "Nope, I'm gonna remake Demon Hunter." Oh my god! Didn't we talk about that? Didn't you ask what kind of anime do you want back? And then she said, "Demon <laughs> Hunter." I said, "Demon <laughs> Hunter." You came, your do, uh, dream came true. <laughs> yeah, it's coming back. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny though that she would be remaking it so soon because I mean, it only released like right at the beginning of the summer. It's not really that old. But I'm still curious to see like how it will be improved upon and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the art even has looks a little 
better to me. <laughs> she does. She did say she was gonna get a voice actor, though. So there you go, Tachi. Oh, yeah. You can be. You can be a demon hunter. <laughs> and she can be demon hunter. <laughs> yes. Maybe I could audition for Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I think I showed you guys this last week when it happened, but um, do you guys remember the doggy hot casting call? Oh goodness! <laughs> I remember. That. Okay, so <laughs> it's just a casting call at this point. There's not really anything else on it, but basically, it looks like it's um trying to be the next large bagel. Yeah, that's oh, awesome. Gosh. But she's a hot dog instead of a bagel. What the? Uh... But didn't didn't want the creator of large bagel? Uh, didn't she want to continue large? Yeah, she's continuing yeah. it. Yeah, but this is something completely unrelated. It's like, it's a hot oh, dog okay. girl. She wears a school uniform, of course. What and hot dog? the <laughs> boy of her dreams is a, like a, a Fruit Loop. Oh my god. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, a lot of innuendos. <laughs> oh, a lot of innuendos there. Oh, yeah. Geez. So doggy hot casting. It's probably no. still casting. You can you can voice it if you want. I mean, it's Are just gonna be doggy hog. Doggy <laughs> hot. It's a uh, sorry. <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'll have to Here. look at that later. I'm so there's the uh... doggy hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> that's what I'm so what? Okay, <laughs> sounds like my kind of anime. Yeah, right. Yes. It sounds amazing. So oh that's... my god! It... Don't search Did you look it, it on up? fucking YouTube because do you know what I got? Terrible things. <laughs> so angry. Now I'm curious, but I can't. Uh, no. I'll I'll find that later. Yeah. That I is... don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> no, you don't. Ugh. Yeah. So <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, um, baby Tiara, more or less, started making a comeback. Was she, was she gone? I think she was mostly focusing on like her drawings more than anything else. I know she wasn't really present on YouTube so much. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, it seems like she's coming back with her uh, thing. What is it? I should know what it's called. It's like Evil Guardian Bloodlust. Mm, yeah, I think I saw that, and it looked really good. Yeah, there's just an opening test right now, but it does look really nice, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of that. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was a... Ah, ah, more of that. More of that. Okay. <laughs> I, seemed, like, I don't know how I smacked my lips making that sound. Yeah, and another thing that happened was um, uh, Fanime Academy, both forms of Fanime Academy. Oh, yeah, what yes. was that? So one of them is a blog, and it's just... <laughs> devoted to just different tutorials and helpful stuff like that for animating and all that you know stuff mm -hmm. so that's really cool there's there it, it's a uh, fanime academy on tumblr well no it's not called academy anymore she changed it to a uh, fanime it's, institute yeah institute to serious. um <laughs> yeah get rid of any confusion <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Institute does sound a lot more serious than Academy. It's almost, <laughs> like, um, intimidating. Like, oh, I went to the Fanime Institute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Need a business card. Like prison, almost. <laughs> <laughs> business card. Business card. I think it's a really good idea, though, just get everything in one place. Yeah, it's a great idea, and it's going to be really helpful for some people, I imagine. So that's a pretty cool thing. <laughs> Evan but... says, he's like, I don't need it, though. <laughs> <laughs> for some people it's not me I don't know I mean I'm, I'm kind of past the point of like most tutorials I think but, oh. <laughs> but uh, I said most tutorials <laughs> back on the subject of uh, but, yeah, Fanime Academy yeah. the other Fanime Academy is uh, a show that someone's making about an academy for Fanime characters to train to become actual anime characters, which is almost kind of like an insulting premise, to be honest, but you know, it is what it is. And um, she's looking for other fanime characters to be in the show from other people's Oh, fans. right, that mm -hmm. one. I, I've, I've read that. Right. Is that the one that did the confession about um, using characters or something Probably. like that, I wonder? It might, might have been, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's just... Uh, there was something else like that that wanted to use other people's characters. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if a whole lot of people actually, like, signed up for it. But it's kind of an interesting thing, though, because how do they really go about doing that? I mean, 
I imagine they're the one writing the script, so if you give them their your character and they write a script for it, is it going to be represented properly? <laughs> Probably not, especially if the characters aren't uh, fully developed and there's not enough episodes or information right, about right. the fanime, so it's that's how it's flawed. That's a little bit iffy, but it's inter it's definitely interesting. I like to see stuff where people try to get other people involved. Yeah, so, it's yeah. also it's an interesting concept too. Yeah, yeah, especially because it's just kind of like it's not really a plot driven type of show. It's just like okay, let's get all these characters together and see what would happen. Right. And that's pretty cool. But yeah, that would be fun. I feel like it would have to be co-written with the creators of those characters for it to yeah. work properly. You could almost do a role play type thing yeah. to like mm -hmm. seal it out. But I don't know how they're going about that. Yeah, yeah. I plan to do something like that eventually. That would mm -hmm. be fun. <laughs> I think uh, one of the other things someone was doing with other characters, uh, Wild Charge animations on YouTube. Oh, yeah. was doing a, a tournament, a fighting tournament, where basically you submit a character and he'll animate them fighting other characters. <laughs> That's so cool! That's so... Wow. Wait, where is this? That sounds really yeah. fun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't have a link for it, but I'll, 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 get, I'll it. get it to you guys afterward. Yeah, sounds but, good. But yeah, um, the thing about that is it's once again where the people submitting the characters don't necessarily have a say in the script, so mm -hmm. it right. could... <laughs> yeah, they might not be represented as as well as they could be but it's I still a really like... cool concept usually uh as far as i know since i've submitted a character for that they'll tell you what they'll put in there or not they'll uh, uh ask like they'll say if something is too overpowered or some such or if they can use blank and blank or whatever right <laughs> yeah so yeah uh, i don't really know how it's going to work either though <laughs> It's definitely something I'm keeping an eye out for. I do want to see more of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More some of it in general. Nothing has really come out of it yet, but they're still working right. on it. Especially if it's going to be like fight scenes that obviously take some time. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like he has almost like a chart thing that you fill out of like their moves and abilities and everything to try and make it more accurate. So uh, that could be interesting. Cool. But yeah, and a lot of um, people are doing things like kind of like that but on a more subtle note where they'll like people are having a lot more cameos and like you know little easter eggs and stuff like that now than in previous years so it's really cool to see that coming back as a thing where yeah. they like have the posters in the bedroom or you know <laughs> little things like yeah. that so cute like the little character in the background <laughs> yeah. like they did who was it that did the Tokyo Magic Star uh insert uh on um... Notice me, senpai, or some no wait something like now. Good morning, senpai. Yeah, something with senpai. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There's one that's was, like morning, still senpai. in development, and they just posted on Tumblr that they put a Tokyo. Yeah, I think that was the one. Wait, no, that was a magical girl school poster on the one I'm thinking of, but oh, I don't remember uh, what the name of that the was. That was Ashley's. No, it was something else. It was. Oh, what was that show called? <laughs> I, might, I think it was Twist of Fate. Mmm, okay. But yeah, it reminds me of how uh, <laughs> I predicted as the fanimes would have more cameos or connections and such references. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a really fun thing to see. Especially with everyone making these posters like they have been. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people that just make posters now and I don't know why but <laughs> after seeing the Magical Girl School poster in the background of that thing on Tumblr I'm like, uh, interesting <laughs> maybe there's a use for these posters after all like, <laughs> there was a point of like two or three weeks where just everyone made a bunch of posters for their show and I had to keep putting it in fanime update <laughs> it yeah. was killing me, it was killing me but <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool if, to see like them just hidden in the background and stuff like that. Man, there are like some of them are less subtle than others. Though there was one for Dimensions because I I have a voice role in Dimensions. I'm like an announcer for a commercial or something. <laughs> and in the script for that, um, in the lines for that character, uh, Sarah wrote without really you know knowing who was gonna play the part. She wrote in a reference for Kawaii Schoolgirl. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had to read it, <laughs> and it just killed me every time. Like I think I had the most bloopers on that line <laughs> than any other. It just kept tripping me up. <laughs> There's a bunch of uh, references in Dimensions. It looks so. I'm so excited for Dimensions yeah. too. Oh my god, it's gonna be good. Yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah, it's coming really soon. Should have been out already, but it's coming really soon nonetheless, and I'm looking forward to it a lot. Yes. I hope I hope she Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> uh one topic I wanted to bring up a while ago actually about uh what was it the Fanime Academy thing? <laughs> like both the Fanime Academies having the same name. Uh I found it pretty odd how not only Fanime Academy shares a name for two different things, but also Seasons does as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, that just happened. Um <laughs> The, technically the second season well the other seasons <laughs> well, yeah the newest one is like it just got announced and i think they had like maybe a transformation or something for it so it's not like totally official yet it's still early in development and the other right. seasons already has two episodes out so <laughs> i think they win that round but yeah yeah um as more and more people get involved with fanime and start making shows it's definitely going to <laughs> be a thing that happens Oh, absolutely. Especially yeah. since some of the names, admittedly, are just a little bit generic, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would, it would make sense for two to just end up having the same name by coincidence if you have a formula of using a few words such as Tokyo Magic Mew and... <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Tokyo <What>? Magic Mew. <laughs> Tokyo yeah, Tokyo Magic, Magic Mew. Mew. That sounds like a fan of me. <laughs> Coming 2015, yeah. All right, yeah. Someone's got to make that now. Yeah, isn't there under um, two fanimes that are called Insanity? Not yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, there are. But one is uh, written differently. <laughs> one got deleted. They took it down oh, after okay. um, it got Let's Watched. But, um, oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's sad. I mean, that's not good for them. Not that Basically what they said was like, yeah, you guys are right. We knew this was bad when we made it. It was just kind of like a test, and then they, they deleted it. So oh my God. I was kind of sad to see it go. But, yeah, the one Insanity was like a horror show, and it was heavily inspired by a lot of like horror games like uh, Owl Oni and stuff like that. Corpse Party, I think, they also mentioned. And mm -hmm. um, the other one is obviously the one that KaziCast5 is making. It's probably a little more well-known. And it's, it's like a fantasy story with, like, dark magic and stuff. That's pretty weird. <laughs> but, yeah. And they both did that thing where um some of the letters in the title were capitalized and others weren't. <laughs> I think, oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> I think with Kazzy's, everything except for the eyes are capitalized. And then with the other one, it was, like, just totally random. And <laughs> then there was another show that did that, too. It was called, like, Inordination. I think that's, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Oh, yeah, I remember that, too. <laughs> Which I guess is technically still ongoing, but I haven't heard anything from it in a while. Hmm. That was another one that had a lot of references in it. Extremely yeah, to be the precise. references are good. <laughs> yeah, a mirror Japan. <laughs> oh, that one, yes. Yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, Ghost Club came out after a while. They haven't said much in a while. But oh, they yeah, just... aren't they uh, hosting a casting call? Yeah, they did another casting call. Um, they had one earlier, but it wasn't, like, that big of a thing. It was just kind of like, here are these lines, say them in whatever voices, and we'll f decide on an extra part to give you. But these, the, the, bah, this new one is, like, specific characters, and they're all minor roles, but they're specific characters that they need casted. And they said they're uh, going to be releasing episode three very soon, so hmm. I'm hyped for that, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm pretty hype. Yeah. Pretty hype. <laughs> yes. Ghost Club is a is a nice series. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's definitely worth its uh praise. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've actually seen it. I, I think that I have, but I'm I, I cannot recall. Oh, it's definitely worth a watch. I think you said you No, you were there in the stream. We watched like episode two and you said you hadn't seen it before, so you like haven't seen episode one? I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen episode one either. I only saw it in the stream. It's but definitely really worth it. a watch, though. It's a really good show. It's um, it's very stylized, but it holds up well. Like the style is very 
good. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's more like cartoonish than anime. Hmm. Like Shin Chan style, yeah, yeah. kind of. Oh yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's really smooth looking, and it um, it works really well. Well, Real, it really works rel? really well. The composition and all that is great. Like it's probably one of my favorite things that's come out this year. Mm. It's also very very popular. Probably for yeah. that re- reason. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like. I like how uh, some of the characters are just kind of silly, like Kaji Tachi Tugi Nugi Kuru Ririr Pururun Pin Junior. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You have my respect. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't even remember the shortened version of his name. <laughs> Not good with names. I've seen. I'll be so honest. Many I had to pull that up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Respect gone. Give it back. <laughs> hey, I can. Do, I can remember most of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just remember like Fanta and Pillow. Those are the characters. Is Fanta the bear? Yeah, she's the the. And the then there's uh, like Wednesday or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Wednesday <laughs> is the other guy. I love. She's so cute. <laughs> and I think maybe the other guy's just ghost. I don't remember. I think he's just spirit, yeah. Hmm. Uh, but anyways, the topic that I was going to bring up, the antagonist looks pretty nice. Oh, yes, I, the antagonist. I haven't seen that. I yeah, they seen. just released um, episode one, part one so far, and they're working on part two right now. And it's yeah, almost done. The style looks pretty uh, nice. Like it holds up well from what I've seen. I haven't watched it yet, but I've just seen art for it floating around. Yeah, it's a very uh, unique style in terms of fanime. I haven't seen anything else that looks like that. So it's very. It stands out when you see it. Yeah. But it's a little bit minimal thus far. I think like there wasn't really any lip syncing or anything like that, which is fine. But well, yeah, just... I suppose it's like project unknown in that way. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's also like some quite a bit of exposition relatively. But it's not as long. Yeah, but she said she's going to be wise. adding a lot more animation to it for this next yeah. part and onward. So it's mm. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's pretty good looking. I guess it's going to look even better, so that's cool. Definitely looking forward to more of that. I don't really understand it fully yet, but it's only one part, so you know, <laughs> at that point yeah. you're not really going to understand too much. Yeah. That's true. Unless the story is very simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless, oh no, I'm late for school. What's oh. this cat, dog, bear thing? <laughs> I'm a magical girl it's, now. Yeah. It's going inside of me. <laughs> yeah, it went inside of me. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if you're oh Toya, God, like, sick. where'd the kitty go? <laughs> Let innocent Toya out of this, please. <laughs> Is Toya innocent, really, though? She's so I, I know, I know uh, a picture of uh, Kisaka Ryu. Uh, like uh, Toki Crystal Mew uh, several years later and Toya came up to Mina and was like I'm pregnant and Mina was like how? and she was like I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah she was so naive she didn't even know how she got pregnant and she's like I, I don't know and Mina's like what? yeah I'm surprised you remember that <laughs> <laughs> actually Mina's second question would be you are not on a mission right? <laughs> oh, wait what? You because of this story, you're supposed not... supposed to be saving the world, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to talk too much about that, though. That didn't... <laughs> hmm, but uh, back on the topic of updates, I suppose, there's been quite a bit of, like, character cards and such. Rainbow yeah, palettes. Character cards. Releasing a lot. Rainbow and Maho... palette. <laughs> Maho Shoujo Chan is also releasing some... <laughs> character cards everywhere <laughs> yeah rainbow palette i am very interested in at this point because i know it's a sports thing so that obviously means it has a lot of characters but there's so many like 
<laughs> How yeah. are they going to animate all those characters playing sports? These are <laughs> difficult <laughs> things. <laughs> it's going to be rough, especially since they all have like their crazy hair and outfits and stuff. I guess they'll probably wear sports uniforms when they're doing their soccer thing, but yeah. That, I would expect it to be minimally animated. That is something that I would never <laughs> sign myself up for. Like, <laughs> sports are hard to animate. Tenchi's already been on the boat of a million characters. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> you only started, and then you... I'm going to start after I'm oh, done with no. my first episode. I'm kind of on the road myself. Like I, I have a uh, lot you, of you do have a lot of characters. The, that's like basically the whole cast, though. There aren't very mo many more that get introduced, so <laughs> I'm kind of set for a whole series. <laughs> that go. reminds me of a bad habit of making too many characters. <laughs> like, remember that one series that I told you about the bad name? Oh, man. That had... Like, I was making a list of just characters that were completely <laughs> unnecessary. The list isn't even complete yet. Like, oh there's empty God. spaces for me to fill out. Wow. <laughs> there was supposed to be, like, 235, which is just stupid. That- what? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's stupid. Because <laughs> I just- I don't know, I just wanted to make a lot of characters. Oh my God. <laughs> Do they all like, have backstories yet? No, of course <laughs> not. A lot of them are just bad nicks or something. They're like the homestuck like of family. <laughs> that would have been characters. an amazing character. That would have been an amazing fanime. <laughs> it would have ever touched the ground. It would have been like different characters every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um, I, I'm kinda happy that Fanny Confessions is active again. Oh, I've yeah, always that's... found that interesting, so it made me happy that uh, the person posted again. Yeah, I'm glad you came back and started like doing the stuff again. But <laughs> it's closed now, so oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah so got too many. Too many. Yeah, oh. that's probably why yeah. they're coming out so often now, because. Probably has like a whole stack load of confessions to upload. Yeah, <laughs> Prove. Yeah, she said like every time she'd get through like a quarter of the inbox, it would fill back up again. And so that's why she closed it so that she could empty it out because she was getting like stressed out. And then she wouldn't post any because it's kind of like the feeling of, oh no, I have to. And then it just wouldn't happen because of the stress. So that's why it's closed for now. Yeah, I submitted a confession several months ago and it just got published a few weeks ago. What was it? Oh, you know what it was. <laughs> well, I, don't I know do. What it was. I actually I... felt kind of bad about it because, like, I kind of changed the way I feel about that a little bit since then. So <laughs> it's like a little bit harsh the way it was expressed. And oh, is it? The thing yeah, we yeah, you know, about it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I want to know. I want to know. What um, was it? <laughs> is it? We're gonna get mad at you. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering, but... <laughs> it's like, I don't necessarily disagree with it now, but I did change, like... I, I worded it badly the first time. Mm-hmm. I worded it very badly. And it, like I said, that was several months ago. I didn't even think she was going to publish it, and then it just popped up. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> 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 Oops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never mm. made a confession. I I'll make one. Me neither. Opens. Neither have I. Oh, I, yeah, I made any one. Confessions. I've Maybe. Made quite a few. Did you make one, Tenchi? Yeah, about the references, of course. <laughs> uh, I mentioned that Alphabet Soup had references, and that I like references, and then I made a whole paragraph about how I like references, making ten different references. Oh like my god, that one! That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so punny, Tenchi, oh my god. <laughs> you are so fucking punny, jeez. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna make another confession like that, <laughs> but it's closed, so... Uh. Until, until it opens again. <laughs> yeah, I've made a few since it opened. Um, I remember one in particular back... <laughs> early into the fanime confessions days where there were like a few confessions going back and forth about criticism and it was this big <laughs> debate i guess 
Oh my god, I felt really bad because I like kept the debate up. Like, well, I started the debate on the first post. Like, I made the first really big response, I think, right. to one of that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Now it's like just gone everywhere. Now <laughs> I think you actually stopping. responded to mine because mine was like, like it was a thing in favor of the artist. It's like, yeah, not everyone's really ready to be criticized. Some of these people are really young. They probably like <laughs> they don't really accept it well. And yeah. then you're like, well, in a professional world, like, well, like, you have to get used to You had a very valid point. I'm not going to say you didn't have a point. You were right. You were absolutely right. But yeah, Because when I see, like, adults in the fanime community, like, people above, like, the age of 18 having trouble with criticism, and there's a lot that do. Right. And, and they're not just hobbyists because, again, there are some that uh, are looking to go professional. And then I see them not accepting critique. I'm just like... What are you going to do when you try to go to a publisher and they tell you this is bad, change it? Like, are you going to break down in their office and say that it's just my style, you can't tell me what to do? Like, yeah. you right. can't do that. Like, because I totally agree. Like, even me as a kid, like, when I was 14, I did not want to hear anything, like, in terms right. of criticism. But, like, when I see, like, 18-year-olds that are like, oh, I'm going to be a professional illustrator or a manga car or whatever, and then they don't accept critique and they're adults, I'm like... That's going to be really difficult if you actually try to pursue that professionally. It's just not going to be a good yeah. time for you. Yeah, it's definitely something you have to come to terms with. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, even when, because like, I'm, I'm now in a professional setting, and some of them will, like, bring up their own valid points in defense of their art, but it's not like they're saying, oh, it's my style. They'll, like, explain where they're coming from, and then the person will explain back, oh, this is why you need to change it. And it's like, so you don't have to, like, just take it lying down, but, like, you still need to not just shut your ears and say, la, 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 I don't listen to yeah. you. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, lately, someone has finally criticized me. I was so happy about that, actually. <laughs> Now, really, um, I tell people, please, I want to get better. Tell me if something looks odd because um, mostly it's like you draw the whole day and at the end of the day, you, you can't tell if something is wrong because you don't mm. have the eye anymore for it. And yeah. um, I always give my art to other people and ask them, is something wrong with that? Tell me, please. I, I don't see it anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think my point with that... This was several months ago. I think my bottom line was basically that it's okay if you want to criticize people, but you should ask them first. Yeah. <laughs> that was what right, my right, thing right. came out to. Because some yeah. people just, they aren't ready for it. They really just aren't. And mm -hmm. so, <laughs> You it's definitely sad. have to get ready for it. But <laughs> if you aren't, it's not going to help you. Yeah. That's true. They only um, get very frustrated and eventually quit for a time. And then come back. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, but that's what I, I've seen so many times. I've seen, sorry, I've seen so many times. Excuse me for my English. <laughs> but it also depends on the person. Some people are really cool about it. They're like, yeah, hey, you know, tell me what you think. And in that case, you know, go for it. But <laughs> right. I don't know. I mean, people who are not ready, or most people who are not ready. Say so a lot of time, you can you can kind of tell who um is or isn't <laughs> prepared for that kind of thing though because it's definitely kind of like a naive thing to not really be open to criticism mm -hmm. so you can usually kind of tell i think it's a matter of like you spend so much time with a thing especially like with fanime with how much time goes into it i can imagine people getting attached to what they've done and like they've put this much amount of like themselves into it so they take it as a personal attack yeah kind of thing like I think that's what happens a lot is it's misinterpreted as something like very personal because this is personal work to them so I don't know because I've noticed just that with more as a trend with fanime it seems almost there's more aversion to criticism than the average yeah probably because of just how much time goes into fanime I think right. another angle related to that though is that sometimes you know so much time goes into it that this is something they've been working on for a year or several months, so obviously the oldest parts of it aren't going to really hold up to the newest part that they've made. Yeah. So they're like, you know, don't criticize me. I know it looks bad yeah. in some cases. That's that's not usually. 
I mean, honestly, I I wouldn't really want to hear anything about the things that are three years old in Terrible Witches either. Be like, oh, yeah. I, I made it in 2011. Right. <laughs> like, that. So I can definitely understand that. Yeah, even <laughs> but then talk about time. these parts. <laughs> Like the new improved parts. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can you can criticize the new parts, but the old yeah. ones just they're they're shitty. I know. <laughs> yeah, but that's understandable actually. So, yeah. Making a show was... for three years though. Sorry. Oh my god, kill me. <laughs> yeah. When Sarah Luch is coming out? Shut up. <laughs> oh, with we work, I haven't had on. time. It's hard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Same. You don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> he has school. That's school. Like a job. Yeah, that's school. basically a job. I'll give you yeah. that. <laughs> like nope. a job you don't get paid for. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you should give yeah. Maxine 2004 Tara Luchis. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> Stop yeah. asking me for 2004 <laughs> and You should give it to Maxine. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Evan, you know it's bad. Tell her it's bad and she'll leave me alone. It's so great. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. It's so close to my heart. Like <laughs> when I go to sleep at night, I think great thoughts about Tara Lucas. Wow! It's changed his life. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's well, on the topic of 2004 Tara Lucas, there's a lot of MAP parts coming out. Yeah, MAPs came back in a big way. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. There were not that many MAP. I mean, there are always a lot of MAPs, but they're usually right. like a little more obscure and like more on the furry side of things and stuff like outside the realms of fanime usually but map's in fanime just like exploded recently and there are so many yeah. of them it's like a flu they caught <laughs> <laughs> wow we made it take it down a notch but yeah <laughs> it's <laughs> it's really popular again right now and there there are so many going on Maybe that's why there's not a, not a ton of episodes coming out. <laughs> Everyone's, Everyone's working, working on, working on... <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. true, though. So that's true. the same with me. I'm working on just a whole bunch of MAP parts. <laughs> and I'm not even hosting my own because I'm like, well, I don't even have uh, like my like eight second parts for other people's MAPs. <laughs> Man, I'm in like five or six of them. I've only finished one. <laughs> yeah, I'm in five of them, I think. I need to work on them. I think oh. I'm in at least about eight of them. <gasps> yeah, you joined all of them. You're like, this <laughs> one's out. I'm going to take every, part 12. Well, every anime. <laughs> Did you join MAP. Len's MAP? Yep, part 12. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I even got accepted for that because the last I checked, I didn't get a response and I'm sad, but that's Is okay. It? Is it um, a quality-based one? I don't or whatever? think so. I... I don't well, know. But I guess I can sad. see why <laughs> why my channel would leave a bad impression. No! It's because there was a requirement for you to say Gomena, sorry. Was you did it? not say, what? yeah, you did not say really? Gomena, sorry. You have to say that, apparently. Well, one guy didn't, and he got in for whatever reason, but... Oh, it was one of those dumb, like, read the rules things. Yes, yeah. I see. Yeah, Gomena, I read the sorry. rules. I don't. I didn't even see that, though. <laughs> if you don't say it, I'll ignore your request. You should go say Gomena, sorry. I absolutely for not saying read the Gomena, rules. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> I always read the rules, but... <laughs> I hate those things. I hate them. I know. <laughs> You don't have to assume I didn't read the rules. <laughs> yeah, this one guy is just like, yo, is part 15 still open? And then this this guy <laughs> was accepted. <laughs> Maybe he's a friend of Len. Apparently, Len's apparently like, he was bias. Oh, it's, yeah. <coughs> but Len said, I can't believe you didn't say Gomen Asari. I'm pretty yeah. sure they're probably friends. Like, <laughs> oh, definitely seems like that. Crap. Well, that well, would explain it. I didn't even know about that. I hate those things. They get me every time. <laughs> All right. If I ever want to keep Evan out of anything, yeah, put that just, in the rules. Just, yes. Just put a password in the, the rules. <laughs> I didn't even notice that in the comments, though. Like, I feel like I would have noticed everyone saying that, but I didn't. I'd... It's not even a common thing to say. Like, Comenta, sorry. Comenta, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Must have just like tuned it out or something. <laughs> Probably. Like, whatever, You're so fixed on getting part 31 that you just didn't pay attention. It's the only part that I liked. <laughs> it's such a it's, slow song. I hope it's not taken. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's the only open part in like the 30s. 
So oh, well, it's there's still... still time. I'll have to go do that immediately. But <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was the only part I could get hyped for. Though the rest of it was just like so. Mm, yeah, it was really slow. Maybe it... you could go back to the video and say, "Come in, sorry, I didn't read that." <laughs> yeah, that. Can I change? <laughs> 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 I don't even know if I should at this point. Like, do I really need another MAP? Probably not. Yeah, but... yeah oh, true. probably not. It's like an addiction. Oh, yeah. It's like, I could handle this, and then you have seven MAP parts to do. <laughs> you guys are so funny, because there's freaking me, and I'm here, I'm like, yep, I joined one, and I'm hosting one. I'm not doing anything else but that, because I... I <laughs> Guys, I obviously know my limits. Um. It's not about that. Though. It's like it's when a new MAP comes out, all you think about is that MAP, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I know exactly what I'm gonna do for this. I can't wait to do this." And you sign up, you're like, "You're like, oh wait, I have to do all these other ones too." I, Crap. I guess, but I mean, I guess I I'd know. be that way if I liked the songs a lot. But like, none of the other songs really like, like bring me in, just like Overtime did, and I was just like, "Yeah," and then like Wait did. And I was like, yeah, and then all the rest of them just like, yep, these are songs, moving on. There's also almost a sense of, like, wanting to get involved just to be able to, like, be involved. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Yeah. It's like, wow, everyone else is doing this. I could be a part of this. I should be a part of this, but... <laughs> I, guess, yeah. I, I guess I'm just a loner. <laughs> then you're just like, oh, wait, I have to do something to be a yeah. part of this. <laughs> Agreed. Keep that yeah, up. you don't understand the path. Yeah, and I are just loners. I You're just like, uh, joined one, and that's Word Go Boom, and that's because you animate other fanimes. <laughs> because yeah, yeah. apparently I do not animate my own fanimes, because that's never happened, really. <laughs> 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 and talking about the MAP, the deadline is like November 11th or something, which is just a month from now. Yeah, Len's MAP is a really short deadline. <laughs> I don't really know what he'd do about that. <laughs> he works fast, so that's probably why yeah, he made the deadline short. Work quite as oh, fast. no, wait. It's uh, November 7th. What? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even <laughs> sooner. How passive aggressive would it be if my MAP part was just a black screen that said, little too lazy? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> did you submit it like the day before? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but that's so mean. But <laughs> sorry, <Lynn. laughs> no, you're Gomena. Sorry, Gomena. Sorry, <laughs> <Lynn>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man, but on the topic of Gomez, sorry, I think we got to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, I think we're nearing an hour. Are we? Are Just we? nearing. I, I don't know exactly when we started, but I know it was like, yeah, I didn't time this right. We're we're around about an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Already? I know. I feel like it's been, uh, We don't have to kill it yet. If you guys want to like bring anything else up, go for it. Mm. Oh, wait, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <gasps> Spooky noodles! <laughs> <laughs> Fanime Awards start soon. Yes. Uh, please, don't remind me. Is there me. anything... Okay. <laughs> but on a happier <laughs> no, side of okay. Fanime Awards, it's is there okay. anything you would you guys want to tell us about it? Because I know three of us here are involved. Uh, there are really cool prizes. Really cool prizes. Yeah. Do you want to say what the prizes are? Oh, um, well, I don't know. Hmm, Arena. <laughs> I mean, we could probably say maybe the big ones, like the yeah, the big ones. prizes. Yeah, very big prizes. Go ahead. Ah, uh, okay. Let me find it then. Really, okay. So the prizes for the biggest category, which would be episode, is um, uh, the first prize is a plushie that is eleven to thirteen inches tall. An art piece of from Petit Chiara, <laughs> uh, an animation piece, uh, and the second prize is a plushie that is um, chibi and is only four inches tall, but still a plushie, and an art piece. Uh, and the third are three keychains from Arania, a pixel door from Petit Chiara. Uh, yeah, and all it. of these are like of 
characters of your choosing, the plushie yeah. is of, of like, this. your character. <laughs> and yeah, the Sorry. keychain is of your character. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just specifying. But yeah, uh, so that will be really cool if you've ever wanted a plushie of your own character. Because I know I have. <laughs> so, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how much you guys want to go into this now, but um, what are the qualifications for an episode like does it have to be recent does it have to be a certain length um actually um uh I, we said that for fanime awards um every animation has to be made completely new but for a decategory episode as an episode takes very long to animate um we came to the conclusion that uh, we thought it's okay um, that if you already worked on it uh, partly that you uh, can still enter the category for episode if that answers the question <laughs> so it has to be it has to be, brand new. It has it has to be released new, <laughs> but you can it can be something you've been working on for a while yeah so if for example if Tenchi is working on the episode, first episode of Don't Take My Hat, and uh, he hasn't released the episode yet, only maybe show, showed previews, and that's fine if he finished the episode that he, uh, yeah, he could submit it as an entry for the category episode. Mm. Which I probably will want to do. <laughs> Yay! Well, all right. So, so for everyone who hasn't uploaded the episode yet of their fa uh, fanimes, yeah, uh, don't do it until the fanime. <laughs> <laughs> don't do there it. will be no updates. So, until if they worked on their episode start. for eight years and they release it the day before fanime award starts, <laughs> they don't qualify. <laughs> They're just SOL. Is there maybe like a grace period of like time before? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think so. Like, maybe if they release the episode a month before Fanime Awards starts, it can still qualify or something like that. There's no... no. Well, doesn't it start, like, in five days? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, well, four days now. Four days? Yeah, four days. Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess. I'm excited. So much work to do. Maybe one day later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And then one day later, and then one day later. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, okay. It it should come out uh, this month, and definitely before the twenty twentieth of October. So I want that time. Oh man, I probably will only be able to really get into it around December. <laughs> sadly. School. Wait, how long is it open? School. Uh, how long? It's um, till January, okay. the beginning of January. Uh, mm, yeah, what I actually wanted to know, and I'm still, uh, I still don't know, or we still don't know, for the category music, I don't know what kind of prizes people would want for that. Um, we already discussed this in the group. But um, we maybe thought that we um, choose. Well, we have got uh, for the category mu music, we've got like two under categories, like songs where you actually sing, like Maxine does, <laughs> the Tokyo Magic Star, and OST, like background music, which is just melodies and not. Well, uh, a lot of the other prizes are art based. Maybe you could like make some album art for them. Oh, that's actually a pretty interesting idea. Would people want that? I mean, they're probably not going to make a physical album, truth be told, but it would just be a nice little novelty thing. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's an idea. Or we that thought work. that uh, maybe using the uh, winning song as the ending of Fanime Awards and the winning uh, background music as the new background music for Fanime Awards video. So what about uh, the OST category? Does that have to be new as well? <laughs> yeah, that has to be new. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, okay. Maybe since uh, some of the artistic entries are being rewarded with art, another possibility could be rewarding the music category with music. <laughs> like... 
Yeah, but I can. I how? Well, none of the judges make music. Because, the only oh. thing that I would think is like maybe like um, getting like a gift certificate of some sort to like a database with like uh, samples and stuff like that that they could use and. Uh, or better oh. yet, if you're um, since you're doing physical prizes anyway, you could literally just make it into an album. <laughs> That's true. true too. Just do the album mm. art, print it out, put it in a CD case, and send it to <laughs> them. There you go. You could even print like directly onto the CD, like right, you yeah. have the mm-hmm. thing, and then send that to them. Like it would look pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Then just yeah. like use Fanime Awards as the record label. <laughs> <laughs> What about like an iTunes gift card or something? I know someone brought that up in the yeah. That would be cool too. Yeah. But yeah, I think we're a little bit over an hour now. Uh, I'm not even sure what the timer's at. <laughs> I don't have a timer, a proper timer, so I don't know how long we've been going for. But tisk tisk. I think we're good. It's um about time we end this. Yes. So right. um anything that anyone would like to mention at the very last minute, anything at all. Um, wait, 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 Evan. How's the weather going to be? It will be cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You got the reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you guys for being here, and thank everyone who watched for watching. <laughs> or listening. Yeah, listening, probably more so than watching. There's not a whole lot going on here. <laughs> but just thank you for being awesome people who bother to click on the, the link. Thank you. <laughs> and listen to the entire thing. Thank yes. You. And uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.